In patients who have had lumpectomies, the one thing that we know is you're at a risk, albeit small, for a recurrence of the cancer within your breast. Uh, on prior videos, I've given numbers about what those odds are. Um, depending on the age of the patient, we can generally quote in younger women, let's say women in their 40s, maybe up to 1% per year or that range, maybe slightly over it, uh, to women in their 60s or 70s, probably the odds of a recurrence within the breast itself then is down in the neighborhood of around 0.5% uh, per year. So the question then becomes, okay, if we have a recurrence in the breast, what now? How do we treat the recurrence in the breast? That's a, a difficult question in many ways because it depends on what was done initially. Also depends on the size of the breast. It depends on a lot of factors. But let me give you the hypothetical that someone who has an in-breast recurrence has um, had a lumpectomy and radiation therapy. Now, in general, the standard of care then with another recurrence in that breast is mastectomy. Are there exceptions to this? There can be. In Europe, we know that there is data from Europe where in-breast recurrences are being treated with another lumpectomy followed by some focused radiation therapy, either par external partial breast or even intraoperative radiation therapy. Within the United States, I only know of one institution in Cleveland, Ohio, that has a protocol for doing IORT, intraoperative radiation therapy, after a re-lumpectomy. Now, here's some other examples. Uh, uh, if you have a patient who has had a ductal carcinoma in situ and no prior radiation therapy, then what you could do at that point is repeat the lumpectomy and then go to radiation therapy on the second go-round. Now, importantly, I've really emphasized here at Breast Cancer Answers, if someone needs to go on to have a mastectomy, then I certainly hope that they're working with a multidisciplinary team that will offer different options for reconstruction. And one of the things that's high on my list right now with an in-breast recurrence, prior radiation therapy, even years before, is a nipple sparing mastectomy uh, where we're saving all the skin, the areola, and the nipple. Uh, and you may need with, uh, with uh, this then a first stage reconstruction, uh, then clearly followed by a second stage reconstruction. Or another way of doing that is to eventually rotate, maybe after an initial first stage reconstruction with a tissue expander, rotate in for the permanent reconstruction on one of the rotation flaps. So there are a variety of options. In general, if you've had a lumpectomy and prior radiation therapy, at least in the United States, except for one protocol that I know of in Cleveland, the standard of care is to do a mastectomy. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.